guys, this is Krish from Get Googles and you guys know that this is my first interaction with you guys. You guys asked me some questions under the YouTube comment section about the recession remix from on my Galaxy S4. So yeah, let's get started. So the first question is from Parth Rati. He's asking, is calling is working fine? So Parth, the calling was not working fine with my device. I was trying to call from my Note 5 to S4. I was getting ring on my Note 5, but there was no notifications on S4. I tried many methods and there is nothing to do with that. It's just not working. Wolf XKMR is asking about the smart view. So my friend, the smart view is not working with this recession remix wrong. Next, Navid Ahmed is asking, what's the name of the first round on your phone in this video before you started the tutorial? So Navid, it was Helicon ROM and I also made a tutorial on how to install it and also its review. You can check that in the description down below. The Vasim is asking, I want the best ROM for i9500 in battery life, please. So according to my usage, I would say the Cyanogen Mod 12 is, was the best ROM. Uh, for the battery life, I was uh, getting a pretty much battery life. I don't know the extra exact the screen time, but it was good when compared to the other ROMs which I have tried. So next, Hugo is asking, already using this ROM and works fine on my GT i9500. After installing the ROM, can I erase the zip files from the SD card so I can use the storage? Yes, obviously you can erase the file after installing the ROM. There will be no problem with your device. Yeah. You can erase them. Pritam Reddy is asking, do you notice that the SIM is not being recognized after the new ROM has been flashed? Yes Pritam, I do notice that the SIM is not working even with my device. So what I did is, I went to the recovery mode by hitting the power button and volume up and home button at the same time. And when I was in the recovery mode, I just wiped the catchy partition and also the Dalby catchy. After doing that, the SIM was working fine. Philip is asking, does your hotspot work? Cause for me, it doesn't anymore on my Nexus 6P. Philip, after installing the ROM, I was using the hotspot. Uh, there was no issue with that. It was working very fine. And SK Newman is asking about, Hi, your mobile pattern lock app name is. So Newman, I was not using any application for the lock screen. It is a default lock which comes with the resistant remix ROM. Sajid Divan is asking, Hey bro, which ROM you use on the starting of this video on S4? Please give the download link of the ROM. As previously I said, I was using the Helicon ROM, the download links also in the description. Puno N. Gouda is asking, will you make a video on making Android phone to iOS ROM? Unfortunately, there is no any good ROM like how to turn your Android into iOS. I made a separate video on how to make your Android feel like iOS by using the applications. If you're interested, you can check that in the description down below. Next question is from Mohit Mehra. How is overall performance battery life and camera? So some person also replied to him like uh, camera is better than older version and performance ad addictive experience. Yes, he was exactly correct. When we talk about the battery life of this ROM, I used to get uh, like screen on time like 2 hours 30, uh, two hours, 30 minutes or 2 hours 45 minutes sometimes. Uh, sometimes I used to get 3, three hours. So I use the device like uh, 2 days, 2 days continuously uh, with heavy usage like I used to get the comments from the my website and also YouTube. Uh, it was working fine, uh, yeah, because it's having small battery life, 2 hours, uh, 2 and a half hours is, it's uh, decent I would say. Talking about camera, with my device uh, it doesn't work properly, so I disabled it and downloaded a uh, official Google camera from the Play Store and it just works fine. And Kangzi is asking, hey bro, need to back up the ES before install the ROM. So I would say it, uh, it's better to back up the EFS. If you guys are wondering what is EFS, EFS is nothing but it's an encrypted file system that means um, it encrypts uh, like sensitive, sensitive information like your IME number and your MAC address which you will find under the, under the settings. If you install any custom ROM and your EFS system is broken or it's corrupted and you no longer able to use your phone or even flash any ROM like that. So it's better to bake EFS backup. Again Mohit Mehra is asking is it better than Cyanogen Mod 13? Yeah, I would say it is better than Cyanogen Mod 13 because uh, when compared to Cyanogen Mod 13, it gives the better battery life and also it has uh, tons of more options uh, over Cyanogen Mod 13. If you want to try them, you can dig it under the settings. Rafi Yutul Islam is asking, Oh, please suggest a good camera app because custom ROMs don't have a good camera app like I have. So can you please suggest me a port of camera app or something like that? When it comes to me, I would like to go with uh, 
simple clean UI like a uh, like I would say it's a Google camera app uh, that is my personal favorite camera app and uh, apart from that I would like to mention that it's a Retrica I use Retrica mostly because I would like to take selfies it has tons of filters so lastly Maximilian is saying uh, hi I subscribed you two months ago and you are nice youtuber thanks thank you so guys that's all for this video hope you enjoy this video and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and if you like this session please comment them in the section and if you're interested i would like to do more sessions like this in the future like uh, weekly or monthly depending on your interest i also want to start q a session every month if you guys are interested please let me know that in the comment section down below and if you want to ask me any tech related questions you can ask me over twitter using the hashtag get google scratch so guys, uh, it's better to sort them all at one place so that I can find them all that in one place. So Twitter is better. So guys, that's it for this session and thanks again for watching. I would like to see you guys in my next video. See you awesome.